With the latest report we've had in for the new iPad Pro, it could mean the launch is delayed due to problems with the M3 chipset. Today, let's go over the details about this. I also want to do a summary of what to expect in the new iPad Pro with features, design, and of course, the expected iPad Pro M3 release date and price. But first, let's do a quick recap in where we are. We have all iPads having the same design language, and we also have M1 or M2 chips inside the iPad Air or the iPad Pro range. We got the M2 chipset added to the third Apple device at the end of 2022, and as we went into early 2023, we also got the brand new M2 Pro and also the M2 Max, and this went in the likes of the brand new MacBook Pros. But we also got the Mac Mini, which also did feature an M2 and an M2 Pro too. But for the iPad Pro, by putting that M2 chipset inside it, it has secured its future in still being the most powerful tablet you can buy out there. And it's a great alternative to say the MacBook Pro 13 inch or the MacBook Air, giving you the ability to use it as a laptop alternative with a magic keyboard or to use it as a fantastic creator's device with the magic pencil. So looking towards the next iPad Pro, a new report is coming telling us that the M3 chipset set that will be powering the next generation of the iPad Pro is delayed until next year. So this will be 2024. The report has come in from TechGrieve and is saying that we won't see any M3 devices until at least then. This is a massive blow and I'll talk a little bit more about this, what this means for the release date in a moment. But for other iPad Pro features, one report has come in claiming that the iPad Pro M3 could be getting an OLED LED display added for the first time. The report has come in saying that the current LCD and mini LED display will be replaced by this OLED display and this is the same type of display that we have inside the iPhone 14 models for example. OLED will make the display more clearer and even the colours even more vibrant and brighter. However, Ross Young in the same article has said that these screens are far more expensive to make so it's possible that the iPad Pros could be more expensive going forwards. To me, this is good news with the new screen, but it comes with one condition, that Apple needs to redefine iPadOS and bring their, out their own Pro Apps 2 to the iPad. However, I'll talk more about this later on in the video. On top of this though, I do want to say though at this stage, with leaks being early and to be fair any leaks, even up to the iPad Pro's release date that I find and show to you guys, a lot of previous leaks for other Apple products have come true, but there have been some that sometimes have been misinterpreted based on the facts that leakers have been told. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown and also show you renders based on what we know. No leak or rumour or render is 100% true until we see the final iPad Pro being shown officially from Apple. However, if you are like me and you're also watching this video, then you as curious as I am in knowing what the next generation iPad is going to be like and what it will look like too, and want to know what the latest leaks and rumours are, no matter what they tell us. So, the release date is next of all. So in 2022, we saw the debut of the 2022 iPad Pro M2 in the form of a press release with a short video on October 18th, then the release was a week later on October 26th. Now in previous years, like in 2021, we did have the spring event and this was called the Spring Loaded and this happened in April time and normally this does happen in March, but the delay was due to COVID and chip sources, so we couldn't get our hands on that new M1 iPad Pro until the end of May that year. But based on no devices with the M3 inside it at the moment and the earliest it's looking likely that we will see the M3 debut will be around the time of October or November 2023, then it's likely it'll probably be early 2024 when we will see the new iPad Pro. Remember, normally Apple update their entire line of devices first, so with the M3 chipset it's most likely we will see the M3 MacBook Air and then we'll 
also see an M3 13 inch MacBook Pro. We may also see that iMac M3 too, but it's very likely that the iPad Pro will be next in the spring of 2024. And also that iMac might also come at that time too. And this might be in March time. And that is if there is no chip shortages or any pandemics or anything like that. Apple normally like to do a spring event in the first half of March, so the closer we get to that time, the clearer the exact date will be. But at the moment, it definitely does look like that is around the time of when we'll be getting our hands on the new iPad Pro. So then guys, just quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And you can check out the video on my channel to see who won those prizes. But we're doing another giveaway now, and this giveaway is gonna be happening around a sort of mid-June time, some point after WWDC. And at this giveaway this time, guys, I'm gonna be giving away three prizes. The first two prizes are runner-up prizes, and that are some AirPods 2, and also I'm gonna be giving away some AirPods free as well, what's absolutely amazing. Then the main prize I'm gonna be giving away to one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video, or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2023. As I already said guys, the giveaway is happening in June time. So if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time. So make sure you do that right now. Now, something else I just want to quickly say, there are lots of imposters out there, a lot of them faking to be me, telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize. And basically these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. If you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or be told to send one of these messages, make sure you do not do it. This giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage, taxes and all of that. So if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, Example, and basically you need to pay for the shipping, please do report it here on YouTube. All you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest. Just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out there. So to summarize again, all you need to do is comment on as many videos that I create out there to enter in and also at the same time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes. Is. And with that guys, it's back to the video. So next of all, let's do a summary of what the 2024 iPad Pro models are most likely going to provide us. So first of all, I want to start with the 11 inch model and it will be staying as an 11 inch model this time round, but there are gonna be some differences. As mentioned, we're expecting a brand new design for both the iPad Pro models. But one thing though, that is definitely likely is that we've been told that we're probably gonna be getting an OLED display this time inside an iPad and this will be an absolute first. We have had a mini LED in the 12.9 inch iPad, what I'll talk about in a moment but we'll be getting an 11 inch OLED display what will be a retina display in this iPad Pro the 11 inch and that will give us a resolution of 2388 by 1668 and again like usual it will be a ProMotion 120 Hertz display we'll have the storage options of 256 gigabytes this time all the way up to two terabytes scrapping away that 100 128 gigabyte option we will also be getting the m3 inside it with 5g connectivity what's going to be absolutely fantastic to see and then there'll be a choice of between 8 16 or 24 gigabytes of ram depending on what storage options you pick you won't be able to freely choose how much ram it will depend on how much storage you pick so most likely if you get the two terabyte option you will get that 24 gigabytes of ram it will be an aluminium or aluminum frame body this time round as well and there 
will also be a double camera on the back with lidar on the rear and then on the front we'll also get that center stage selfie camera and also for the first time it does look like we'll be getting dynamic island 2. the battery size will be a 7538 milliamp battery and the prices again starting out for the 256 gigabyte model this time will start at 799 us dollars and then this will range all the way up to 1499 us dollars for the two terabyte option so next of all let's move over to the ipad pro m3 and the 12.9 inch so again this 12.9 inch will be having an oled display just like the 11 inch so it'll be moving away from that mini led display because as we've seen in previous leaks that apple look like they're turning to samsung to provide them with some oled displays so the resolution on this ipad will be coming in at 2732 by 2048 and again it will be a pro motion 120 hertz display we'll have 256 gigabytes as the starting storage this goes all the way up to two terabytes and we'll be having that brand new m3 chipset inside it with 5g connectivity and then we'll also be getting a choice between 8 to 24 gigabytes of ram depending on what kind of storage that you pick inside your ipad pro so you won't be able to manually choose the amount of ram it will all depend on what kind of storage you pick again it will made, be made out of an aluminium frame body that's what we say here in the uk but if you're in the us and other parts of the world it's called an aluminium frame body we also will be getting that double camera on the back with lidar on the rear and then on the front we'll be getting a center stage selfie camera like usual but the difference is this time it will be enclosed in a dynamic island what was going to be ever so cool the battery size on this one will be coming in at 9720 milliamps and then for prices we'll have 256 gigabytes it will be starting at 1099 us dollars and this will be going all the way up to two terabytes for 2099 us dollars so that is the summary of specs for the ipad pro m3 but let's talk about my wishes for the ipad pro and this time around it's not actually to do with the actual physical ipad pro don't get me wrong i'm all in favor for an updated design but for me it's to do with the ipad os i'm hoping that going into 2024 that maybe some point in 2023 even we may actually finally see some pro apps come from apple for the new iPads. So I'm talking about Pro apps like Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro being ported to the iPad Pro system or for iPads that have an M chip inside them. At the end of the day, an M2 and M1 chipset is more than capable of doing video editing on the go and also music as well. So I don't understand why, you know, it cannot be put on one of these iPads, especially the iPad OS in itself is lighter than say Mac OS in the sense of it hasn't got so many background tasks going on compared to Mac OS. So it definitely shows it's more than capable, especially that we have the likes of M1 and M2 MacBooks out there. So I'd really love to see this, that we do get these Pro apps over to the iPad Pro in 2023 or 2024 and i'd love to know also what your thoughts are on this too would you love to see some pro apps too let me know in the comments below and on top of that guys it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure to like the video and at the same time as well if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell until next time guys i will see you really soon take care bye bye